Jalen Rose, there's some interesting news about the Los Angeles Lakers who made their preseason debut last night. We'll discuss that in a second. They had a press conference scheduled for September 20th that they canceled. They canceled it because they were still engaged with trade talks with your former team, the Pacers. Reportedly, they're going to trade that man, Russell Westbrook, and two picks for Buddy Heald and Miles Turner. Now, those talks obviously fell apart. Westbrook is on the Lakers. Do you think that he plays on the Lakers for the entire season? Well, here's what I truly think about the proposal that you said, my brother. The, your initial question is no, I don't think he plays for the Lakers the entire season. But what I will say is if the purple and gold can add Buddy Hield and Miles Turner, I like that a lot for them. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot for them. Um, especially at this point in LeBron James' career, I'm pretty sure they're not into the business of trying to stack pile drafts, draftees at this point. But for Russell, I think he's going to be judged only by one thing, his salary, not by his productivity. And good we point. know being so ball dominant, which has made him a Hall of Famer, is just not going to be a good fit with the Lakers. And so you see him adding depth to the backcourt with Beverly, who they added this offseason, and Schroeder, who's also going to be there. And so I think they're getting themselves ready to move on from Russ but still creating a level of balance that when he's gone, they're able to continue to build on what they already have. And I think it will be that high, high salary that he has, which will actually be attractive to teams looking to trade for him because that salary is expiring. Well, the purple and gold took the floor last night against the Kings. They got absolutely waxed, but the big three, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook were on the floor in uniform, playing together, which is always encouraging for the purple and gold. Well, it's preseason, but LeBron was what, 0 for 7? Mm, didn't look great. 0 for 4 from 3, maybe? Didn't um, look great. But the elephant in the room for the Lakers is a healthy Anthony Davis. We talked about it with Kawhi. You asked me how many games Kawhi's gonna play. See, the Clippers have the kind of depth that can supplement him not playing 70 games. The Warriors have now built that equity also. The Lakers don't have that luxury. No. They're going to need Anthony Davis to play majority of the regular season games. Because let me tell you what happens if he doesn't. That means a lower seed. And a lower seed in the West likely means a first round exit. So it's important if they can try to add to the roster, of course. It's great to see Toscano Anderson catching lobs, but Anthony Davis' games played is the number one thing you should be looking for if you're watching the Lakers. If those numbers are high, their seeding is going to be higher, and then their trajectory will be better with LeBron and AD in the playoffs. If the reverse happens, first or second round exit. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.